you guys what's up it's joe ready from ready's rides i'm back here in my backyard and guess what we have a all new 2020 mercedes-benz glb 250 4 matic but before we get into this all new compact suv from mercedes-benz let's talk about what this vehicle represents this is basically being looked at as a baby g-wagon that glb 250 compact in category but one thing you're going to notice bold styling and on the interior lots of room and a ton of amenities as you come to expect from the company that german brand iconic brand mercedes-benz that styling and then of course you're also going to get a drive that's very very engaging so let's go ahead dive into this 2020 glb 250 for matic and see is this the ultimate luxury compact SUV. Right off the bat, I love the nice little boxy shape of this GLB 250. It really pulls it off very well, especially with the overall size of the vehicle. You'll see what Mercedes-Benz is doing, headlight design, love it. You have a lot of different elements on the interior that housing, LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED turn singles. Not a lot of shiny chrome, just enough to make it really pop and look so specific to this GLB. Now, as you drop down, you have some flat black. I love the way it extends out, not only from an aesthetic standpoint, but this is actually functional. It's a side functional air curtain and the way that it kind of wraps around and comes into the lower section of the front fascia. Even these two horizontal slots here with a little bit of gloss black, give it a little extra definition and help channel that air. Now, as we come across, the front end of the business, you have that iconic symbol, the silver star from Mercedes-Benz, smack dab in the center, the gloss black. I'm really digging how it extends from that Mercedes logo. My only zonk is I wish they would have hollowed out these elements here, these three elements. Other than that, the way they did the grill is spot on the money. You have this nice diamond studded design, a little bit of a concave uh, design to it, but overall really, really fresh and clean. Now, as you drop down, you do have a forward facing camera. I love the elements, the way these pieces extend from the front fascia. You have some flat black. This is going to help flow into the radiator and whatnot for engine cooling. And then this lower lip extension, really aggressive. And the design element gives it such a nice look. Now, when we get up onto the hood of this polar white, this is called polar white Mercedes Benz. Of course, you got the Mercedes Benz logo. And then you have those very brand identifiable two rises on the hood. It's, it's interesting because they come out of nowhere and then they just disappear as you go towards that windscreen. Now, as you come around the bend, the way they bring the flat black around the fender treatment, very tasteful, very SUV rugged looking. This is an optional wheel and tire setup. So this is an AMG branded wheel. You can see how they stamped the AMG logo here. Multi-spoke, gloss black. There's that Mercedes branding in the center there. Lurking behind these 20 inch wheels are 13 inch rotors. They're cross drilled and fully ventilated. That's gonna give you nice, consistent, good braking. And then behind all of this, at all four corners, you have that adaptive suspension. Because remember, you could go into different drive modes. That's gonna adjust the suspension to give you the perfect ride for whatever the situation throws at you. Flat black flows all the way around into that lower sill area but as we go down the side i like the way it's super clean no stuck on fake vents or anything like that gloss black on your mirror caps slim and trim on the turn singles you have cameras all four corners that's going to allow you to navigate when you're in a parking lot or whatnot up onto the roof this one does have that two-piece panoramic roof with the raised roof rails i like the roof rails it helps add to that whole g-class personality of the Mercedes-Benz lineup. You get your crossbars, obviously you could put kayak, you could put a mountain bike up there. My only zonk is I wish they would have blacked out the whole roof. Front is blacked out. Of course, the glass being tinted is blacked out. And then this back portion would have just looked a little extra clean, but you have the gloss black around the window treatment, some shiny chrome on the door handles, just, a, just enough. And then the way that they brought that gloss black strip ties in very nicely to those horizontal slots at the front end of the business on each of the corners and on that lower lip extension. 
as we work our way back, look at the, the nice design. They kind of give a little bit of a rise there. Good size and shape on that quarter window here. And then when we get to the tail end of the business, nice flat spoiler coming off the back. You have some gloss black extensions for aerodynamic purposes. There's our badging GLB 250. Formatic, that is Mercedes branding for their all wheel drive system. We drop down full LED brake lights, turn singles, the whole shabam. I like the nice chrome that they put across the top of the bumper. And then very, very aggressive. This rear diffuser area is, the, is very aggressive and looks sharp. My only zonk is the exhaust openings are fake. I wish they were functional because I'm telling you from an aesthetic standpoint, spot on the money. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this GLB 250. All right guys, we got the hood popped on the GLB 250. You do have a hood strut, gonna keep everything nicely raised underneath that hood. Tasteful engine cover. You're looking at a two liter inline four turbocharged engine, 221 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. It's all routed through an eight speed DCT transmission. The GLB 250 weighs in around 3,759 pounds. That's with the all wheel drive, that four Matic. Zero to 60 in six seconds flat, quarter mile in 14.7, and it has a top speed of 131 miles an hour. I think the even better news is guess what? MPGs, 23 in the city and 31 on the highway, really shows the versatility and the flexibility of this vehicle. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see how much room you're getting, even though this is a compact SUV. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 GLB 250. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, I like the looks of this car, especially the polar white. I love the idea of it having that formatic all wheel drive. How much is this one? Now, remember, starting price for these is around $39,000 MSRP. This one has quite a few options, which is a good thing because we could showcase what Mercedes Benz has to offer on this GLB. You're looking at MSRP, this particular one, $57,400. Let's see what you get for the money. Now, door panels, drop dead sexy. I love the white contrast stitching, soft touch material. You have that carbon fiber design, heated seats and ventilated seats, three memory seat settings, silver trim, very tasteful, a nice large pocket down there for some uh, Bavarian cream donuts and a bottle of milk to wash it all down. Really, really sharp system. Now, when we get from the door panel to the dash, same story, soft material, the stitch work is great. I love these aeronautical designs on their AC vents. There's more of that faux carbon fiber design. You have two over 10 inch screens. These are optional navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, so easy to navigate through. And I actually, that pun was intended, but there's our navigation. You go back to home, you got your wonderful swipe feature here. We could go into info, get all sorts of data on our, our particular GLB 250. We drop down, you have more of those beautiful AC vents. There's your start stop button. One thing this also has, which is, I don't know if Tom could pick it up on camera, but this actually has the ambient lighting. That's another option. You can see the bright red there, looks really sexy at night. You drop down slim and trim on the AC controls, obviously dual climate. You have um, wireless charging, which is really nice. A USB, a 12 volt, two cup holders. It's interesting because the cup holders, you push these and you can put smaller bottles there or tuck them down. You have your larger bottles. Obviously, I'm putting my hand sanitizer there. You got your volume control. What's great is that you have many different ways of going through the different systems in this vehicle. You could do touchscreen or you could use the trackpad or there's also buttons as well, which is great. Let me go ahead and show off the backup camera. I'm going to put it into reverse. You do have a column shifter. There's our 360 degree camera Just letting us know we have the door open. You got your trajectory, which is really nice. Look at this, you want different views. Obviously we have the door open, that's out the front, out that front facing camera. We could do panoramic, super smooth, super slick, very, very easy to use. We also have different drive modes. So when you go, let me put this back in the park. When you use your dynamic toggle switch here, we could go into our different modes. You have individual, sport, comfort, and eco. And remember it's adjusting the steering, the suspension, throttle response, all those good things, all by the flick of a switch, or you could go into the different menus. You have a nice 
palm rest here, love the silver. You have your little cargo net down here for your emergency German uh, chocolate Twinkie. More of that amb ambient lighting. I'm telling you, this thing lights up. It it's almost like a nightclub. That's how good the LED lighting is. Bombs away, open the doors, USB-Cs, two of them. You can fill that up easily with about 15 Twinkies. Close it up, it's soft material. The stitch work is great. Seats, classy. I love the darker color. Stitch work is great. Very, very simple. And you have, of course, power assist for the passenger and the driver. Love the hamstring ex uh, extension, especially for a person like myself, six feet tall with longer legs. We have that dual plane panoramic sunroof open, nicely done. And really just the amount of headroom in here is phenomenal because of that nice flat roof. They did a great job with that. Well, why don't you come on over behind the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this GLB 250. All right, guys, business time. Nice, large openings to get in and out. You got the Mercedes-Benz branding down here on the sill. I even love the brushed aluminum pedals, throttle and brake, and you have a good size dead pedal. Steering wheel, this is an optional steering wheel, but you know what? It's worth it. The thickness is spot on the money. The silver trim is absolutely beautiful. And then you're gonna have two paddles to go up and down that eight-speed automatic transmission. Remember, Mercedes-Benz on many of their vehicles uses the column shifter here, real easy to access. And then there's your separate 10 over 10 inch screen there. Obviously, you could go through a cornucopia of information in the center. It's ridiculous. It's like standing under a waterfall of data that you could go through very easily done. And I don't know what Mercedes-Benz has done, but there's no glare on these screens. Because if you notice, there's no actual hood that covers anything. And at first I was skeptical. I was like, there's gonna be a ton of glare, especially with the sunroof. No glare, it's unbelievable. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out how unbelievable the space is for your passengers. All right guys, backseat time. This is where I was telling you how that nice flat roof, look at all the headroom I have back here. And that's with the glass back here. You can see how they kind of notch out the back of the seat. You do have plastic, easy to clean, but it would have been nice to have leather all the way around. I like the AC vents, they mimic what they get up front. You have a pocket down here for some Jolly Ranchers, and then look at that, connectivity. Power source, USB-Cs, you tuck it away. You have the traditional German style, that European style cargo net design. And the seats, obviously I'm sitting very upright, but watch, you pull the tab, you have some nice recline feature, or you also can slide the seat forward and backward, which is a nice touch. Armrest, of course, we got you covered. It's a little hard, but you know what? The reason why is, is there's two extra cup holders. So you could go get your super slurpy and suck that all down while you're nice and comfortable in the back seat of this GLB 250. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the cargo area and see how usable this vehicle really is. All right, guys, cargo area time. Push it right here, nice electric assist, opens up on the quicker side. You can see the amount of room that we're working with. Now, if you want some hard numbers, you're looking at 20.1 cubic feet of space with the seats up. Fold the seats down, you're now looking at 60 cubic feet of space. You do have a 12 volt that is located right here for, car, uh, for doing any kind of camping, maybe you're doing a tailgate, something like that. But the nice wide opening, another thing that's great is how high the opening is. Plus, you could put an emergency box of Twinkies back here so you don't get hangry. I'm gonna go ahead and fold down the seats, which unfortunately, there's no way from this position to fold down the seat. I'm gonna have to come over here to the passenger side. You pull the tab, seat drops down. I'm gonna run over to the other side, and it's gonna be the same thing. Seat rolls down, all three of them, and you can see how much room that we have in the back of this GLB 250, but definitely, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's close this GLB up and take it for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 GLB 250 4 Matic. Right away, driving down the highway, very comfortable. Does not feel like a compact SUV. And I'm telling you, they did a great job with the interior. It really mimics the bigger G-Wagon, the way the dash is set up, the silver trim, the top of the dash. And then looking out over the hood, you could see those two rises I was telling you about earlier when we were doing the walk around. Gives you a great visual reference point and lots of, of space to see out the windows. The eight pillars are very far apart. Back window 
is great. Side mirrors are a little small, but still very effective. And this optional steering wheel, I'm telling you, the thickness is just absolutely spot on the money. As we drive down the road, not a ton of road noise, even with those 20 inch wheels. And you're gonna get the feedback that you expect from the great engineering behind this vehicle. It still blows my mind when I look at the two over 10 inch screens, no glare whatsoever, super clear graphics, and just a nice driving experience, I think for everybody who's gonna ride in your GLB 250, whether it be up front or the passengers in the back. Hey guys, let's do a little acceleration test on throttle. That eight speed clear, quickly drops down. Shifts are very fast, very smooth. And like I said, zero to 60 in about six seconds gets you up to speed nicely so that you can merge onto the highway very, very easily. You can hear how it's holding on to that gear because I have it in sport mode to help quicken acceleration once you go back on throttle. If I go ahead and switch it into comfort, now it just puts it right into eighth gear and we're smooth sailing down the highway. It shows the versatility of going through the different modes and how you have that ability to choose the mode depending on the driving situation. So by going into comfort, now I'm on the highway, it's gonna soften the suspension and really just allow, obviously, a more comfortable ride. Seats are supportive, they look good, and I'm so happy that this one has the ventilated seat option. Highly recommend that, especially during the summertime and the hotter times of the year. I know here in Florida, it seems like we just have summer and spring. That's about it for the seasons. Backseat passengers are gonna be happy because they have the flexibility of the row sliding and the tilting backs of the seats. And I think that really, this checks off so many different boxes for an SUV without being supersized which is really nice. All right, guys, driving the GLB 250, very comfortable, like I was saying, good feedback, and navigating it through traffic, it, it definitely is very, very easy to drive. You're in a great vantage point seating-wise, and I think Mercedes-Benz does some of the best seat controls in the business to really get it to contour fit to your body type, but back on throttle, drops down, and here we go. It really does carry its weight very well and balances itself very, very well and super smooth, which I really, really like in this setup. Good braking. Like I said, you got 13 inch rotors up front, cross drilled, fully ventilated, gonna give you some nice consistent braking and really just a pleasure to be behind the wheel. All right guys, acceleration from a dead stop on throttle, over the bumps, soaks them right up. Visibility of the dash and all the instrumentation. It's interesting because when you first get into one of these, it might be a little overwhelming if you haven't been in a Mercedes-Benz product at all or in a long time. But as you drive the vehicle, that's one thing that I've loved about having this press fleet vehicle. It's really allowed me to understand where all the different functions, how easy it is to navigate through things, no matter what I want, when I want it. And that just comes from the experience of driving the vehicle. But overall, I think that Mercedes-Benz has packaged a lot into this smaller vehicle. Hopefully this gave you a nice over, overall view of it. We're going to get back to my backyard and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another wonderful day here in my backyard with this GLB 250 formatic. I wanna definitely thank Baron and the rest of the crew at Mercedes-Benz USA for getting us this all new compact SUV of theirs really shows the direction that the brand is going in and really trying to create a lineup that fits everybody's needs and wants very nicely in that compact SUV size. But if it's vehicles like these that you want to keep seeing on Radius Rise, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radius Rise merch. 
Got to get out to Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner, working it out here in the Florida sun, the Florida wind, and getting it done. Thank you, Tom, for your hard work. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.